Hey, we're trying to get uh, Gallagher on. To talk you mean about- watermelon smashing with the big sledgematic Gallagher on the phone? Why would we do that? He's a visual guy. Oh, good, good to see the Dow is, uh, you know, it rebounding just today. Opened. <laughs> it's down 200 points It already. just opened. How, <laughs> oh, my God. How did it drop? Oh, my God. This damn thing is going to go below 9,000. Are we going back? Holy Jesus. Are we going back to the caveman, uh, caveman days yeah. or what? Yeah. All right. It's coming back. Watch this. Yeah, yeah. Watch is this it, now. Is it? It's been open for two minutes. Two minutes. It. I, you got to think there's a buying opportunity somewhere on that board. I mm. just... Venus. <laughs> no, nowhere uh, on this planet right now. The reason we're uh, having Gallagher call the show is for that exact reason. I'm convinced there's a buying opportunity there. We learned after Gallagher completely destroyed the studio. Mm-hmm. Completely. Uh, they're still mad at us over there, by there's the way. still cake on the carpeting it, it, and ground into things. Yeah, we've all seen Gallagher's act. Well, we did Gallagher's act in the studio with no tarps or plastic down. We're still finding pieces like yep. Ant said of cake and everything else we smashed that day. But after the show... He uh, hung out in the green room for, I think, I think Jimmy told me like four or five hours. I mean, he didn't, it wasn't like an hour. He just hung out, and he was uh, day trading his balls off. Mm-hmm. And uh, he sent out an email yesterday that he's extremely excited about what's going on with the, uh, with the market, and, and he's going to make money off it. Yeah, that uh, is what people are doing. They're taking, taking this down market, betting against it, mm-hmm. and making money. Right. It's coming back. Look! Look how fast now it went. It's a, a down one twenty nine. So I think it opened very low, but people are going. All right, come on. This all is right, ridiculous. All right, look at this one nineteen. This is silly. Literally two minutes ago, it was over two hundred down. Now it's down one nineteen. Just uh, people got to get in there. Ninety three forty nine. Ninety seven. Eight. Look at this. Come on. Yeah. There it goes. Come on, America! We'll be in positive territory. And then some panicky Pete will sell off a billion shares or something and just start a, a riot. Up. 87. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Let's go to 70. It's going to get... We'll just quote the stock ticker. No, it's funny. Well, 71. Well, the observation, though, CNN, you got three uh, You got three fucking talking heads, yeah. and you can see they're not breathing. They're, all just, they're just all staring and hoping that this yeah. thing is going to go positive. Now we're down to 63. Put a password in there, Steve. Thanks. Uh, Doesn't matter what it wants to load, what it wants to do. Just put a password in. I don't care. Let's say hi to John in Utah. <laughs> John. Morning, gentlemen. How are we doing? Uh, pretty good, John. Hey, good, good. The stocks are obviously going up because of John's presence on Leno last night. What do you think? Uh, because of Jim? Yeah. Or, no, sorry, yes, because of Jim. Well, we could give you another little taste of Jim on Leno, uh, and it makes sense because he was talking about Wall Street with Jay last night. So Yeah, his three months' worth of experience. <laughs> yeah, it was. Again, that's it, just funnier than hell, I think. Right, all right. John. <laughs> I'm the same way. I don't know shit about the market either. All right, John, uh, thanks for the setup. John in Utah. Thank this you, is, John. This is Jim on Leno last night talking about uh, the Wall Street. <laughs> what do you discuss on the radio show? What are the topics that you're doing? The obsession lately on the, on the show has been uh, uh, Wall Street, which I heard you guys. Right. Right. Talking about because again, living in New York, I mean, I'm sure you're all affected too. Right. Uh, but am I the only one who is like trying to comprehend what's happening with the stock market? I have no idea. I just that side of my brain, the mathematical side of my brain, just doesn't function at all. I was reading the Wall Street Journal, just trying to get it, and then someone told me I was holding it upside down. Like, wow. I don't understand uh, anything about finances, and I never got involved, by the way, in the market. I'm 40 years old. I was very smart. I never put a dime into the stock market. Uh, until three months ago. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I really did. I'm like, time for a nest egg, Jim. And uh, as a result, the entire world economy is collapsing. And uh, that's why it's happening, because stupid Fredo Corleone decided to get mixed up in the stock market. Do you even know what you're buying? Do you know what to buy? Do no, I don't know what to buy right, at all. Right. I have no, I don't know the difference. They, they make it complicated on purpose. Like, well, there's the S&P 500, there's the NASDAQ. What is NASDAQ? It's not like something you get from a Russian prostitute. <laughs> I've got NASDAQ. Well, you better do something or that thing's going to fall off into your sock. <laughs> So, no, I don't know what I'm buying. Is your portfolio diversified? Uh, yeah, I buy from black brokers and white brokers. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, there you go. Jimmy Damn. killing on uh, Jimmy Leno slaying. Last night. Absolutely. Very nice. Oh, we got to go right to the phones. We got Gallagher. <laughs> what happened? Nothing. 
Bob Kelly was like, I was huh? just thinking of his upside down Wall Street Journal joke from 1940. <laughs> <laughs> it was upside down. He hey, hey, why can't and you it was be upside happy for down. your friend? I love it. Cha cha. I know. It's like, come on. Would I, you? I don't understand you guys. How do you go that's from how you, a, that's how you show happiness for your, your how friend? How do you go from a Russian hooker disease? To a yaka yaka yaka. Uh, waka waka, it's upside down. I was reading the Wall Street Journal. It turns out it was upside down. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> but you love him, right? I love Jim. Jimmy's one of the funniest guys on the planet Earth. But I you- love him to death. And the fact that he brings creep into regular people's households <laughs> anytime yeah. he's on TV is fantastic. With that, we say hi to Gallagher. Gallagher? Hey. Oh, Gallagher, there you are. How are you, sir? Just fine. Why haven't you visited <laughs> us since uh, since that great appearance of yours? I have to go to all the small towns in America. Yeah, but we want you back in New York, smashing stuff and 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 talking crazy like you like to do. Uh, well, I have to go and get uh, in touch with the common people, and um, that's what I do. You know, if I only lived in L.A. and New York, I wouldn't have the right attitude about America. Right. Well, the so something we learned about you after the show, unfortunately, is the fact that you're you're a great day trader and you hung out at the station for like four or five hours after the appearance, making all sorts of dough. I don't know if I made any money. Uh huh. It's really not about stocks; it's about people. You're trading people. You're t- what are well, you saying? It's illegal. illegal. You're it's in the- people's attitude wow. that m- determines <laughs> the price of the stock. Boo! Right. <laughs> And so it's trying to guess what people are going to do. Uh huh. So now, not so much about the value of the stock. Right. That that's uh, inconsequential when you're uh, trading back and forth like that, especially options. What have you been making uh, money during this uh, down market? No, I've lost a ton of, mar- of money. I'm an optimist, and I can never seem to bet against oh. America. I, c- I want America to win, and I always uh, have uh, confidence. Oh, you're a call guy. Yeah, I sure am. <laughs> oh. I sure am. It's, it's a put world, my friend. <laughs> well, I wish that wasn't true, and I'd like to tell all of the television commentators to shut up. Yeah, they're they're spreading the panic, aren't they? Yeah, and then yeah, and then they say, "See, I was right." And they're telling everybody, "Don't buy anything." So, of course, sales are down at stores, and nobody wants to buy a house and the prices are great. Yeah, the media will destroy this country eventually. They That's, really will. Yeah. They 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 spread the fear like Gallagher's saying. I want them to all shut up. They talk it up and talk it up and talk it up, and then everybody believes them, and then you get a self-fulfilling philosophy. I just want them to shut up and don't fire anybody if you have a company, Mm -hmm. because that spreads the problem, too. You lay people off. The tail is wagging the dog. Yes, the tail is wagging the dog, because 85% of the people are paying their mortgages. Not only is the glass half full, it's 85% full. Uh, Gallagher, keep talking. The market is up 41 points. It's going to be up 200 by the time I'm done. I want everybody on TV to shut up. Keep talking, Gallagher. Come on. It's up 50 now. Well, I don't know why. Uh Uh-oh, down 30. Come on, Gallagher. Keep up the energy. uh, (laughs) I want him to invest in America and those companies. Hold on. Maybe we can get the patriotic music to help this out, too. Go ahead, Gallagher. Go ahead. All right. Well, today I like Yum Brands. It's up 45, uh-huh. man. Come on, Gallagher. Come and on, I want Gallagher. and win because uh, they're oh, selling them tacos and, and they're uh, involved in the gambling. I think the Chinese are going to gamble no matter what. Less wow. Chinese. It's down. Th- uh, it's uh, only up 34 uh, now. People aren't uh, very confident in uh, that. Uh, try something else. Yeah, try something else. Only up 32, Gallagher. Come on. LDK Solar. They've got some wonderful earnings. Oh, oh that's it. Like People that. don't like solar energy. <laughs> they didn't like solar that energy. just dropped. Wow, did that take a big that drop. Was, that was perfect timing. Oh, Gallagher, we're only oh, up eight cents. Gallagher, <laughs> no I don't think they want to hear solar. Get in on it today. It's a wonderful company, and uh, the problems in, in energy are not going to go away. Uh-huh. True, true. Oh, boy, it's teetering right there. It's teetering right at uh, the positive there, Gallagher. Just well, barely. Well, today isn't necessarily oh. tomorrow. Uh, you buy these stocks. You can't wait for the whole bottom. You have to beat the crowd. You can't oh, wait for Oh, they're liking this. They're, they're liking, liking this, Gallagher. Now you're on to something. It's up $15 right now. 
What is? No, the, 15 points. The uh, 15 Dow, points. The I'm Dow. sorry. We're, we're, well, LDK isn't part of the Dow. 18. You know, I don't want to play the Dow stuff. No, this is just uh, confidence. You're instilling confidence in yeah. the people. Yeah. 21. Look, they're Come on, Gallagher, up 21 points. Well, uh, there's some real problems in the Dow. There's Caterpillar oh, and Boeing. Oh, boy, Gallagher. Oh, Gallagher. <laughs> Gallagher. You know, when Gallagher shuts up, this uh, market goes up. The second he talks, it tanks. I don't know what happens. Look, uh, proving your okay, point well, is now up 24 points. what about just buying Colgate-Palmolive, CL? All right, Colgate-Palmolive, because people got to brush their teeth. I, they like the toothpaste thing. Now we're up 30 points. Yeah, I watch Mexican television, and they, uh, they are always selling Colgate. Oh, oh, no. Oh, less Mexicans. Oh, they, no Mexicans. No Mexicans. Stay oh, away my from the God. Mexicans. They just dropped down again. <laughs> Oh, my God, you're not instilling. Oh, oh no. no. Mexicans are really putting a yeah. hurting on the market. Yeah, back Gallagher. to toothpaste, Gallagher, I like please. I Martha Stewart, too. I think she's right, going to do good. Oh, oh, no, God, no, no, no. no yeah, don't. Christmas is going to be No, coming. stay away from Everybody's Christmas and Martha Stewart. Martha Stewart crap. No. Oh, 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 no, Gallagher. Gallagher. We're only you're, nine points up now. You're smashing the Dow with your sledge-o-matic. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's oh, oh, your, five Your points. mouth-o-matic is, is smashing things. <laughs> oh, no. Well, I like the Russian phone company too. Well, the right, come on, now we're in minus territory. Oh no, Thank we're you, negative. Gallagher. Come on, bring it back up with the Russian phones. Yeah, let's uh, get. What do you, uh, what do you like about phones? the Russian phone companies? Uh, that the the Russian economy is going to do just fine. They're cheaters. They're always going to make money, and they oh, have. Oh, we they like, like that it. here in America. All right, Russian uh, Russian we're up phones. Eleven points. Okay, good. Because the Rushkis got to make phone calls. Yeah, and MICC has got 14 small phone companies around the world, and people are still going to use their phone to get a new job. That's true. And and, and what, what is it about the Russian phone company uh, that's mm -hmm. that's so so big? Well, they're uh, they're drilling more oil, and uh, and they're going to have a lot more money. All, All right. right. So with more money comes more phones. Yeah. Everybody uses their phone no matter what. They brush their teeth, they use their phone, they eat a taco, and they go gambling. All right, let's see what that does in the market. All right, all right, let's see how that worked. Uh, Gallagher, wow, Gallagher, I think you're bringing the market back. Yeah, we're uh, in positive territory uh -oh. right now because of Gallagher. Though, it was just up to $18. 20 something. Oh, oh right, 30. 30. They like that, Gallagher. Uh, because he showed up again. <laughs> ABT, this is a conservative play. Uh huh. What is that about? Uh, drugs. Oh, drugs. Let's see if people like drugs. Hold on. ABT. Drugs? Show me. Yeah, show me. 43. Drugs. We're up 43. with drugs. People love drugs and Russian phones. That's what we're learning, Gallagher. <laughs> we need a stock ticker, you know. That would Now, truck. YRCW. This one is down so far, it can't go any further, I'm going to say. Really? Yeah. All right. That is a good buying opportunity. A lot of these stocks very under uh, value, oversold. Mm -hmm. oh, uh, well, most stocks are at a one-year low. Yes. So. Isn't that the time? Yeah. Yeah. you got to move against the crowd. Well, where are you at with media stocks there, Gallagher? Um, I'm not too hot on media stocks. Mm -hmm. uh, of I like course not. I don't know if you consider Disney a media stock, but they're running all kind of deals on the where you can afford to go there. Uh huh. All of a sudden, it's seventeen hundred dollars, honey. We can go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that commercial. They're really pushing that. I don't know uh, how much is the amusement parks uh, a big part of Disney's uh, income. I would think, right? Yeah, yeah, I think it's only about 25%. The rest is all this teen stuff that is doing just great, and here comes Christmas. Here Movies comes Christmas, and uh, right. that goddamn... Uh, Molly Wally or whatever that, that Whatever her name is, uh, uh, you know, at, uh, Hannah Montana. Oh, Hannah Montana, Yeah, Hannah, sure. and then mm. uh, Miley. the teen, uh, high school musical. High school so musical. Many Right. Very big, very big. Yeah. And clothes. They sell clothes and all kind of tchotchkes and crap. Tchotchkes. We're in a commercial right now. That's why we don't know if this is helping the uh, the market or not. Yeah, we'll have to look. Hey, Gallagher, uh, what do you think of uh, the election? It's getting close now here. What's I think you? it's over. You think Obama's a, sh oh, a shoe-in <laughs> Who's the point? president? Yeah, Obama. Yeah? Is, th is they... that good? Do you like that or no? Uh, I never cared less about an election than this one right here. <laughs> what about your, uh, you know, you're going to be pegged on uh, some capital gains taxes. You're one of those rich people he's talking about. Uh, no, I've got capital. I have capital gains in real estate and losses in stocks. Oh, good. So you offset it. Nice. Yeah, I did absolutely nothing. I should have gone, <laughs> yeah. gone fishing. That's good. You break even. I should have gone fishing. 
Should have gone fishing. <laughs> hey, yeah, uh, I hear you. Uh, what do you think of Jim Cramer? I think he's right half of the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's a coin toss. So you're saying just toss a coin instead of listening to him, really? You know, it's not fair that a guy gets uh, a show for, you know, for being right half the time. That just doesn't seem fair, right, Gallagher? He said to buy Chesapeake Oil because the owner of the company bought such a huge position, but the guy bought it at 55, uh -huh. and now it's uh, 22. Oh, so boy. he lost. I think he bought uh, fifty million dollars worth, so he lost twenty-five million. But T. Boone Pickens, mm -hmm. who uh, <laughs> yes. always has an opinion about oil, lost a hundred million dollars on natural gas futures, telling everybody to convert their car to natural gas. He had to buy options to guarantee the price, and he um, he took the losses out of his company and took them personally, so his little company would show a profit. So T. Boone's not too smart, and Chesapeake's not too smart, and mm. uh, Jim Cramer likes Sears Holdings, and that's done terrible. If you ever go in a Sears or a Kmart, there's nobody there. Yeah, you, uh, you. It sounds like you have a lot of time on your hands on the road there, Gallagher. Well, I go in three or four stores, you know, looking for the stuff I'm going to smack. Oh, there you go. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, we couldn't keep track because we were trying to make nice radio here for the people. Joe D. from Jersey writes, once Gallagher said... Uh, YRCW, it went up 6%. Oh. And the market is now up 55 points. Oh, uh, Gallagher, they're loving your uh, your uh, commentary. We started the show is down almost 250. Now we're up 50. A 300-point uh, turnaround in 18 minutes. I say by the end of the day, we're back over t uh, Dow 10,000. Yo, stop it. That's now, my prediction. That, that's crazy talk. One day, huge, crazy huge talk. gains, huge gains. Well, you know, everybody's afraid on Friday. Frady Friday. Right. So no matter what happens during the week, they're going to ruin the whole thing on Friday uh, afternoon. <laughs> yes, you're you know I think you're right. It's pretty accurate. Well, look, isn't that great that uh, a lot of people have um, uh, financial analysts, people, uh, Fox News has people from uh, a lot of the uh, finance companies. Uh, we discuss it with Gallagher, the guy that smashes watermelons with a big mallet. And he probably makes more sense. Well, uh, I'm, I just I'm not throw it out there. I wasn't uh, judging. I'm mm -hmm. just saying. Mm -hmm. We get to Gallagher. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Bobby, you got a question for Gallagher? Hi. <laughs> uh, Robert Kelly Hi. in studio there. Yeah. Gallagher. Hi, how are you? Just fine. I, I have a, uh, um, I was thinking of buying a CD. Ooh. Of mine? <laughs> yes. You can get my entire life on four CDs for a lousy 22 bucks on eBay. Wow, that's pretty cheap. Well, you have to bid, but most of the bids go out at about $22 for 14 one-hour shows my entire life. What if yours uh, life added up to $22? Yeah, I, <laughs> that's about it, huh? That's kind of sad, huh, Gallagher? Well, it's not 15, so, you know, I'm being positive about it. Plus, I can retire now that I'm digitally uh, uh, kind of uh, immortalized. Yeah, people can just uh, watch the DVDs. Yeah, they don't need to watch the act anymore. Yeah. But, uh, but you probably don't want to say that because you want people in the seats still, right? Uh, I want people to leave their TVs and come out and be a part of a crowd and get tribal. Uh-oh. Wow. Sounds People scary, need to Gallagher. hear and uh, be a part of a crowd laughing. I think it's necessary for your health. Is it true that Carrot Top is on CNBC right now <laughs> doing uh, <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> commentary? I kind of like that. <laughs> his, his face has gotten scary. You're not supposed to scare people, although Halloween is coming. Uh, yeah. Oh, jeez. You're not a fan of the Carrot Top? He'll, he can kick your ass with those muscles. I don't know if yeah. he's uh, aggressive. He's a big guy. Uh, I don't think he's aggressive, though. No? No. Talking about him like some kind of animal. They're big, but not aggressive. You could pet them. Mm. They won't see me coming. I get in and get out quick. Yeah, yeah I don't know. You're kind of a... Uh, you have a very distinct look to you. <laughs> I don't but think they you don't could expect me to hit him in the groin. No. Oh, all right. All right. Punching the balls. Watch out, uh, Carrot Top. We're kind of well, keeping. I know where the weak spot is. We're keeping Gallagher on the phone because now the Dow is up 137. Points. 137. Gallagher, you're doing well for the market today. But I don't think it's Caterpillar or Boeing. That uh, you know, there's some things that are going to drag on that market. Yeah. What do you think? You don't like Caterpillar or Boeing? Well, I don't think that uh, they're going to do well right now. That uh, it's not the time to plant. 
And so the Caterpillar's not going to do good, and mining isn't doing good right now, and uh, Boeing has a strike on, and so they're going to drag it. There's probably some other parts of the Dow that are doing much better than it shows. Oh, boy, you're being <laughs> pessimistic. Yeah. Well, I'm not just realistic about it. It's not the season to plant. But I do like POT. I think potash has been uh, sold off really low in Monsanto. Monsanto? They're yeah. still around? Yeah. I remember, I remember they, uh, they had that uh, thing at Disney where uh, you'd go in uh, and, and shrink. The Monsanto, uh, you'd go into the microscope and shrink down and take mm -hmm. a journey into the, uh, the little wee world. <laughs> That's our strength in America is our science. Science? Yes. I'm trying to make the subatomic world more approachable to the kids. I'm turning them into action figures. <laughs> subatomic <laughs> particle action figures. Did you? Yeah, people oh, don't know the difference in between uh, an electron and a photon, <laughs> between light and lightning. They don't even understand how their phones work. <laughs> Oh, Bob's gagging on a banana. I'm sorry. Yeah, Gallagher. Uh, uh, Bob, Steve. Yeah, Gallagher yeah. People banana. don't understand. People don't care how things work, Gallagher. They just want them to work. Yeah. But they could cause cancer. Women shouldn't put their breasts what? up on a CT scan. It causes cancer. Three percent of uh, the women who have a breast exam get cancer from the exam. If Are you, you a, kidding me? No. If you have an, uh, an exam ten times, you have a thirty percent higher chance of having cancer. That sounds oh, kind of like a paradox. Yeah, what the fuck are the women supposed to do then? Uh, you're supposed to feel around. You know, let the guys feel around? I don't yeah. know. Where you Mammograms can, can uh, detect uh, very early before you can feel them. Or you can smash your, your girl's tit on the, uh, the <laughs> counter with a, with a frying pan. <laughs> I'm just telling people about the, shoots the out. risk that they take. <laughs> yeah. Also, stomach uh, 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 x-rays cause stomach cancer and brain. Yeah. Three per you can look on Wikipedia and see the numbers. Well, Wikipedia is where I go mm. to get all my facts. Yeah. They're Definitely. very accurate, you know. Well, wow. you can go. They give you the source, and you can go to the source also. All the information's on the Fortune internet. Fortune off. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Boo. Oh, Gallagher, speaking of technology and science and all that, did you see Robot Girl on uh, Drudge Report? No, I didn't. I just. Well, you mean pedo dreams? <laughs> a pedo's <Dude>. dream? <laughs> they finally get Robot Girl. There's a picture on Drudge Report that they can't figure out how to make uh, cute Robot Girl. Yeah, and they can't the, get the good thing eyelids. It's disturbing. It's all scary is looking. Is it all about the eyelids, you think? The eyelids are really bad because, let me t I'll be honest, it, it they was built in uh, uh, Asia somewhere. Right. Uh, Japan. So they wanted it to be like a Japanese girl or something. Yeah. And the, the latex that they use for eyelids. Yeah. Uh, doesn't quite work very well with those type of eyes. They just need to get a toenail clipper and cut that little hunk of plastic that's sticking uh, out. Yeah, yeah, there's like plastic sticking out of her, her I think, face. I think they're onto Look something, though. They're trying to make Robot Girl look ugly so no one fucks it. I'd be all over <laughs> Robot Girl. I'd still well, fuck it. I'd be girl, all over it. You could put buck teeth and freckles. Robot Girl doesn't feel bad about having Ugh. a breast augmentation since her tits are fake to begin with. <laughs> yeah. She has no tits. It's a 10-year-old uh, Robot Girl. But she does have, like, a skin tags on her eyes, it looks like. <laughs> yeah, what was that? Uh, I don't know. It's that thing. It's where, where the eyes blink. It's kind of like when you used to have toys as a kid, and there was always that extra plastic on your uh, army soldiers or yeah. something. It's that stuff that hangs from your grandmother's armpit. Look, yeah. I don't care how the eyes look. How's the <laughs> asshole? <laughs> nice tight. and tight. <laughs> Is it tight? I told you I had half a torso. They're fucking good. Yeah. yeah. Gallagher, where are you at with assholes? <laughs> uh, they're... they're uh, kids should pull their pants up above that hole. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's good advice. Yeah, that's very good advice. <laughs> well, uh, when, when I tell kids to pull their pants up, they'd like pull it up like one inch. Yeah, yeah. you got to really pull them up high. Over like, the poop yeah. hole. Look at the difference. Got to be over there. We got the real dolls in America, and China, or where is it, Japan? Probably Japan, right? They yeah. have this awful-looking robot girl. Yeah, they, robot. Have, they have robot girls that look like Asian Those women. Those are fake chicks, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Would you fuck one of those uh, real dolls? There? I have. You have, yeah? I told you, I had half a torso. Yeah, but half a torso isn't one of the real dolls. You don't need, what do you need, the you head and You just need feet? a half a torso. Yes. I had, the, I had the middle part, the asshole and the vagina. That's crazy. And it had a flat back, so it stuck to the bed, so That's... when you're fucking it, you didn't have to hold it. <laughs> no, you you got to be able to, like, grab the... Did you really do that? 
Let me tell you something. I made it a, a pen holder during the day. Yeah. So my wife didn't think I was fucking it, but th and like when she left for work. <laughs> Why? Why? Why holder. wouldn't you? It's it Jesus. felt unbelievable. And then what you, about Trojan? Can you buy stock in Trojan? I don't know. That publicly uh, traded question. Uh, company. Uh, we'll, we'll, always need, a, we'll always need condoms, right? It's just a brand name for something else. It's like yeah. Procter and Gamble or something. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying, if the market's not up, you're going to want to take it out on somebody. <laughs> <laughs> then go bareback and give them the dose. <laughs> they have a guy. Oh, you like that one? No. I'm sorry, Gallagher. We got distracted. And we're starting to look at the uh, real dolls that are uh, used no, for sex. No, you're never distracted from the market. If you if you like pornography, there's probably a way of buying stock in it. I, I would hope so. Mm -hmm. That would be something. That's a money maker. Who was that, George McGovern? What's he saying? Yeah, George McGovern's on TV there, Gallagher. What the fuck does he want? Oh, God, they have him in a tub. Huh? They have the, the guy doll in a tub. <laughs> oh, my ah! God. <laughs> and he's got, he has a realistic-sized mediocre cock. It's like just a <laughs> perpetually hard dick. Sorry, Gallagher, we got distracted. Oh. Why'd you have to get the guy ah, real? Oh, look no, at this. No, Here no, we go. No, no. Now it's... Uh, <laughs> now he's bent over he's in the getting tub. getting a towel. They put a towel in his hand. He's wow. Gri he's gripping the towel in pain. Would that be gay to ha have sex with that in the ass? <laughs> no. Just because it would feel like, you know, rubber. It's like anything else. If that was all that's laying around and you want to get off. As long as there's no voice in it that goes, come on, you faggot. Fuck me. <laughs> as fuck me. As long as you don't give it a reach around while you're doing it. <laughs> as long so as you're gay. not calling it a name. Now, what's gay is having a luxury interior in your truck. Oh, okay. That's pretty uh, queer-like, I would say, but not as and gay wearing as... wearing socks with your sandal. Not as gay as having sex with a male latex doll, I would think. With yeah. blonde hair. Let's yeah. see what one of these tell. broads look like. There's no meaning anymore in America. You really can't tell what is gay or odd. Yeah, I just use the word queer... Like, in a queer kind of way. Like, that's a little queer. It's just a fun word to say, guy. Yeah. Well, I should... don't think they should call them gay anymore, because gay means happy, and they're usually pissed about something. <laughs> <laughs> I right. think they should call them switched, because it does appear as though the wrong uh, sex person is in the wrong body. <laughs> oh, okay. I think they should just you, say, you I'm it's... switched. Right, like yeah. a, a guy, a, a woman in a guy's body kind of a thing. Yeah. Yeah, mm. and let us have the word gay back. All right. As you know, we'll have a gay old time. Uh, I don't like to make the guy g dolls really hot. They should like make one with like receding hairline, like an Eng English professor with like a, a beard. Know, wait a minute. How do you know the guy doll is hot? Look at that. All of them are fucking have like uh, an eight pack. They're all shredded. There are no ugly gay men. You haven't met my uncle. <laughs> <laughs> all right. For some reason, gay men have to be good-looking, whereas lesbians, uh, just half of them are good-looking, and the other half look like us. All and right, Steve is not gay. Go fucking, uh, go over Barney Frank's house. and <laughs> He's, uh, you know, he's gay. He's, he's a but, good... And he's not yeah. very attractive. Yeah. All right, Gallagher. I think gayness is for the young. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Yes, gay is for the young. Yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to toy around with that sort of thing. But uh, Gallagher, thank you so much uh, for bringing the market up. Yeah, it's over 100 points, my us friend. a little insight. What about Johnson & Johnson? Maybe they make uh, rubbers. That's gay right there. <laughs> That's You're docking. Right. It's called yeah, docking. Johnson and Johnson. Johnson oh, Johnson and Johnson. Oh. I thought you said Johnson in Johnson. I think that's it. They're Johnsons in their Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, Gallagher. I'll catch you later. All right, hey, sir. Any plugs, Gallagher? Yeah, you going to yeah. be anywhere? I'm going to be in Houston helping them people to uh, get over that hurricane. I thought they were over it already. Well, it lingers, you know. that when, If your uh, house is still blown apart, uh, it lasts a while. But according to TV, they're over it because we're on to another story. Uh, yeah, you're bored with it, but they have to live it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, good point. Trying to make a point there. All right, Gallagher. Bye bye. Always bye, a pleasure. Gallagher. We like the Gallagher. There he uh, goes. Yeah, quick break. Yeah. You believe in all that shit? What shit? All the, you know, I think we, idol or what? No. Yeah, what, Patrice? I all think the, we all move the conspiracy on. Shit. I, yeah, I think a lot. There, a lot of them could be true. I don't know, but a lot of them could be true. What's your feeling on anything? 
what's your, what's your, what's your, like what conspiracy? Anything. You know, Pick anything. a conspiracy. Like aliens, and a conspiracy. Could they exist? Yes, I think so. Uh, all right. Yeah. I, I want to I address Do we land your on the question. Moon? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe not. What's I say, that? wait, wait, come on. I say, on see, now, I believe, yes. now, see, I believe that because, we landed on the moon. Here, yeah. Because here's what I'm thinking. Why the fuck have we never been back there? Budget. Put the fucking flag on there. Why doesn't, like, uh, you know, Nike or Coca-Cola fucking yeah. sponsor mm-hmm. a mission, put a Coca-Cola thing on the moon, you know? We haven't been back there since They since went in like another direction. The Apollo program ran out of money. And then they Why had to they come do up a with a 30 year reunion in the year 2000. 30 year reunion on the moon. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Buzz Aldrin. He's never been back. Put his old ass back so on the moon. So you still question that, Judah? I think it's a possibility. Possibility. No. Yeah. I think. Um, yeah, I think we went. No, they, they, Anything's a possibility, but anything is a possibility. But it, unless like you, what it, what unless you yourself are standing there. Do you believe? Do you believe JFK? Now there's no enough about all the JFK stuff. There's an innate feeling, like okay, I saw this whole my innate gut. Is that JFK got set up mm-hmm. now, and the whole setup thing that I have no fucking clue about. But I, I gut, I don't believe uh, one, one, one shooter. Dude. I don't whatever, believe yeah. that. But they showed a, sh- a uh, they did a show where they made like JFK out of uh, Jello, you know, <laughs> yeah, the and Jello head, the Jello right, head, right. The Jell-O the Jell-O bullet, JFK. and the guy fucking shot the Jello and it hit the and I saw that shit, yeah. and another guy behind it was made out of you know Tupperware, Jell-O. and it just. <laughs> And it's just like, this is what happened. Really? Is that what happened? <laughs> and I didn't believe that shit. You could have made eight jello heads of this motherfucker. <laughs> I just believe it was what it was. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I just believe it. I believe back and to the left. You're back right. And and to the left. I just believe in that shit. Yeah. Um, not because I want to, because I know there's a lot of propaganda on both sides. But there's some things you just go, God damn, man. Like, damn. I just believe this yeah. shit. And and the thing is, there's enough element of doubt where people will keep believing, and other people will go, "No, that's just you know." And there's no way to convince. But it has anybody. to be some that aren't conspiracy. Like it has to be some mm-hmm. that aren't. Um, hmm. It has to be some that's like completely like this is fucked up, and this ain't conspiracy, and this ain't Illuminati. This is just well, that's what you're talking about. Just, fucking, you talked about just before, like like <clears throat> stuff that. How do you get past it? Yeah, it's the time. It was accepted at the time. You're looking at it through today's eyes and with today's mind. There are things that happened that were completely accepted because that's how people thought. We can't. We're so fucking pompous as people now. And I think by saying now, I mean any time in history. Whenever it's the now, you're the fucking most pompous idiots that think... Oh, how could that have happened? What, you think you're so fucking knowledgeable. That's the way people thought back then. Right, and now people, as we speak, people are making stupid decisions. That years from now, people go like, how did we fucking do that? Yeah. Because we were stupid. And we 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 thought we were the know-all fucking be-all. We weren't media savvy. Especially, we well, just we, no, I know, like we in 1914 no, or something. Yeah, no, but yeah, I mean, like, even in like got this, something weeks later in the paper. Wow, <laughs> no, no, the, the Lusitania <laughs> sunk. <laughs> even, <laughs> even, <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're all about the same age. Even in our lifetime, we were brought up. Uh, you believe what you see on TV. Walter you believe Trump what you read Trump. in the newspaper. But you believe what you hear. I was always raised to question things. Um, God bless you. Yeah, always not like no. I was raised to believe. I mean, they didn't what you see. You know, that's it was just trying to sell you something. But it was an overall feeling. In this country, true. like yeah. if it was on the news, it had to be true. Right. Yeah. Well, if it was in the paper, it had to be true. Absolutely. And now I yeah. don't think we buy, buy into that as much. Yeah, I don't think you should. Yeah. You no. believed the everything like Walter show, Cronkite right. told you. I got to be fucking honest. Bill Butel got on the news every fucking night. You believed every word he said. I, I believe that we landed on the moon because uh, one of the astronauts yeah. sent a tweet to me. Oh, he Twittered you? Yeah, I got what, a little... From the moon? Yes. <laughs> wow, that, that was <laughs> so, the first tweet ever. <laughs> well, yeah. It was the first one ever. I just personally don't think they could have faked that. Uh, it, did you, For, you ever see Lost in Space? It looked like shit. But let's, <laughs> about the but same let's time. say this, though. <laughs> they couldn't even fucking do that with a budget. I just like to know, like, uh, everything was... I like the, the logic. Like, I like to go where the logic is of why they would fake that. Like just like people right, right. who don't Get believe in dinosaurs, story. right? Right. Why Sounds would like that would, need to be fake? Sounds like, like it would have been exhausting. Religion it, to to to, fake to, that. to to give validity to your religion. Dinosaurs can't exist. But why like would the Earl fake Douglas, moon, la- moon launch? Why would the fake moon landing I, need I haven't read to enough be enough about it? Commies. Well, yeah, there was it was there was Beat a the space commies? race between Russia and the U.S. and Russia 
uh, I think was having the better side yeah, they, were, they were further ahead. They hadn't put a man up there yet, but it looked like they might be reaching towards that. And then we're like, well, fuck, we got to stay ahead of them. And we came so out like of nowhere. It was like a political yeah. thing. And then but, it was like, hey, look, we're number one, not you guys. We got men on the moon. You did it. Right. You know what the thing is, right. though? I, they think, didn't I don't just... know enough about it, but I think that's a general. Right. Right. That, but, you... you don't have to know, know that much about yeah. something to have a logical yeah. reason why you might believe in some shit like yeah. that. You Would know? you then try to do it another eight fucking times? Would you try to then pull the scam eight fucking times on the people by going from Apollo 11 to Apollo 18. In 19, now, 1963, 18 so never went. Just space travel. 18 they were, never went. No, from 11 <laughs> They were ahead of the game 17. in CGI effects, by the way. Yeah, exactly. They, they were ahead of the game in mm -hmm. green screen. They got all everything that shit. In that fucking, in that fake moon landing. It was pretty good we with, did. The, with the with the Earth in the background. And yeah, the, see, that was fantastic <laughs> back in 1969. That was that was some George Lucas shit. That fucking shit. Real early. <laughs> you ever watch some movies from '69? That cutting edge technology in cinema, and they look yeah. like shit. They're, they're, they're being chased by clay dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> and you tell me they fucking did this moon landing? We got an expert Get on the phone here. that's going to help us out with this. Uh, awesome. The great Gallagher. Gallagher. What? Gallagher? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you believe that we uh, landed on the moon, sir? Of course we did. All right. Thank you. I, I knew we did. But what's your proof? Why is Bank of America <clears throat> now down 19 cents? Oh, well, Gallagher would, could tell us about <laughs> stocks, too. That's for sure. How have you been, Gallagher? I've been just great. I've been flying all over the country, yeah. uh, doing shows, and uh, and people they want to laugh. They want to forget about the problems. <laughs> Can I ask you a quick question, Gallagher? I I, well, I heard is this urban legend that you own the rights to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, or ever have? Yes, <clears throat> I, I met Eastman and Laird when they first started. And uh, one of the first pictures that they drew was a food fight in a kitchen because <clears throat> they came to my show. And I told them not to name the turtles after Renaissance painters because little boys wouldn't care about that. But they didn't listen to me. And they did their whole project backwards. They sold it to cartoon companies first, and so they couldn't make the movie deal because movies want to own the toy rights. And they sold those first. And so I was able to make the movie deal for them with uh, Golden <clears throat> Harvest. All right. Uh, bottom line, do, is your name on it, and do you, do you get money? No, the money went to my manager. This seems weird. Like, this seems a lot of... That is weird. This is an uncomfortable... Like, I, I just heard... I thought heard it was a it. comic book first. I heard that you owned... Like, you owned Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in, the, in its beginning stages, like, back in the day, and you, and you do well. I made the movie. I made the movie deal, but my manager got the money. Oh, Along boy. with so he's, another this guy. Is touchy subject. Sorry. Oof. Sorry, Gallagher. I just uh, no, 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 Sorry about that, buddy. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> yeah, I, I heard the silence there, but I didn't realize. I thought you were just. I thought you was. You thought he was dead. rolling in the dust. I did. Because I did of this. Yeah. There's a couple of people in Gallagher's history that I think he wants to smash their heads like that watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> just put it on the block and fucking crack them. <laughs> I'm doing a reality show, and um, I'm going to start another group <laughs> like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is called Claw, and this is a cosmic league of animal wrestlers, and they're going to teach kids how to do things right instead of cheat and lie and use a chair to beat the <laughs> your opponent over the head. Wrestlers need to be a positive image for kids. So it's going to be like amateur wrestling, like college wrestling. Are they going to wrestle? It's going to be more like a cartoon. Oh, okay. What style wrestling are they going to do? Like professional or, or They're like... They're animals. They're animals. So like Kung yeah. Fu Panda almost. It's going to be more yeah, like Hulk yeah, yeah, yeah. No Holds Barred or Matthew Modine's Vision Quest. <laughs> yeah, all them animal shows now are copying the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is going right. great. Right. The panda, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What happened to our show? Like, why, you why, why are you so certain that we landed on the moon? Worst timing ever. Because we have a... Um, uh, a reflector there, and we can send a 
sig up to the reflector and it comes back again and we can measure the distance to the moon all of the time. Yes. With Plus, a laser. You can, see the, you can see the stuff we left there. Yeah, you can. The little rover, the fucking bottom part of the lunar module. Oh, it's the, all on there uh, still? Yeah, all it's of still the there. Amateur peop- all the amateur ham people listen to the communications during the Oh, mission. that's cool. Well, that sounds like, actually, I'm just saying, like, like, like everybody says faking the moon landing, and I brought up the point, <clears throat> uh, or it was before the phone, uh, <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> that there were supposed to be uh, uh, like issue. 18 uh, <laughs> Apollo missions. And from 11 to 18, um, you think they would have tried to fake it that many times? They got away with it with Apollo 11. They, let's say they faked it. They go, holy shit, the, everyone thinks we landed on the moon. Let's do it another seven times or so. That's a good point. And, and see if we can, you know, let someone on to this. And with 13, let's fuck it up and have to bring them back uh, mm. because of an explosion. And they don't go to just too much shit. Went on with the moon landings that, to to say that we we didn't go there. So I absolutely believe we went to the moon. Gallagher, comment. Yeah, we need to go Thank out you. in. Thank you, Gallagher concurs. We're ruin this planet. We're melting the glaciers. No, no, that's it's just, it's just natural <laughs> history. <That's fine. laughs> that, that's coming out to be some fucking horseshit too. I think so. No, it is. Oh, no, Gallagher. Gallagher, it is. It's they said it's just the sun. Underwater. New York is not going to be underwater. And it's just the sun. Yeah, way before uh, all that technology we invented, there was a lot more ice on this planet. Yeah, there was a lot yeah. of ice ages and a lot oh, of this. Oh, my God. A lot of violent movements. I mean, Africa used yeah. to fit perfectly into uh, right in there. Dakota. Long Island. And <laughs> <Right. Dakota. laughs> like, yeah, like New York Australia. was next to Morocco. <laughs> and Hawaii with buddies at some point <laughs> in year one. You study those, you study those old show. maps. You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> fucking fit How together. Does Florida... It does, though. Why you you up with see that. Africa or whatever it, It's amazing. Fuck. Like, Africa fits right into the niche that, like, Morocco and New York were touching at one point. You're not a conspiracy guy, right, uh, Gallagher? No. Like, no. Like, is there anything that you that you believe uh, Lee Harvey Oswald killed JFK by himself? <laughs> well, I am mixed up a lot about all of that. Mm. Yeah, that's a confusing one. What's your gut feeling, though? Like, you're just a gut, you know, call. Boy, his head came apart like a watermelon, huh, Gallagher? It sure did. <laughs> <laughs> I just like bringing up the watermelon. The watermelon. All the time I'm with, sure with he's thrilled with that. Gallagher. It sure did. But don't forget the big chair. Yes. The bigger chair was, was behind. One of his great specials, man. He had the big chair, the water, the skates. I seen that of course, one. Of course. I know. The big couch. I'm coming out with a, a tour, you know. I'm going out with Foreigner and Mitch Ryder in the Detroit Wheels. And <laughs> what? You cool. are? Yeah. I'm what what comedian is Foreigner? <laughs> yeah, I'm, this will be in Yakov August. Shmirnov. <laughs> No, no the, the band, of course. Of course. Oh, the, fa- oh, the band. Oh, that's a new moniker. <laughs> the foreigner. Oh, the foreigner. <laughs> what the con? I don't think Lou Graham uh, sings for Foreigner anymore, though, uh, Gallagher. And I've, I've invented right. a new fun thing <laughs> called um, yeah. these are clapping hands six foot long that extend to eight foot long. And you wear these to get the crowd going, clapping hands over your head for a large crowd. Oh, wow. And I'm going to sell the. I'm going to sell these to every football cheerleading squad in America on eBay. I'm going to be rich again. Yes. So again. Again. Uh-oh. What I got, a, to I the, got uh... an idea for you that no one come up with, and I was thinking about that. I'm nervous to do it. It's, it's a foam, giant foam hand, and it's like a number one sign. Wow, like a, a and you put it over your real hand, and you just and it's like a number one, but it's made out of foam. What a dumb idea. I thought that would take off. That's stupid. No? Yeah. You, think you could jack off. <laughs> All right, Gallagher. <laughs> hey, hey, Gallagher. <laughs> what, uh, what, are you, what, are, what are you into as far as the market goes? What's the problem? There's absolutely no problem. Uh, I think everybody should buy stocks and keep them and quit farting around at 3.30 every day and selling them off like they, they're they frightened little kittens, and then they buy them in the morning again. They're so stupid. Well, I'm, I'm looking at certain stocks that it's the same graph every goddamn day. It's the I same it. daily graph. Uh, They're it's, nuts. 
I think a psychiatrist should look at it and and uh, and tell everybody in America to calm down. They're just plain nuts. A panicky piece. America. Panicky Pete's, I say. But, uh, but get Mr. Gallagher, sir, I hear, I hear that they're trying to break down uh, uh, Mexico, Canada, and U.S. into one big thing like, like the euro, and they're yeah. trying to make this, this, they're trying to destroy the dollar and create this Amero, is what I'm hearing. Mm-hmm. Well, wow. I wouldn't mind joining with Mexico, but I don't like Ugh. Canada because of the French. No, not joining. Because of the French? But not joining. I think they're going to just make us like Europe. You know what the exchange rate One would money. have to be between the peso and an American? America, yeah, that would oh, never work, right? America, that, that's what they're you trying. You can't just even it up. They're trying to destroy right, it. That's why, they, that's why they just pumped in another trillion dollars out of, they just pulled, out of their ass. They just pulled it. Pulled, they just printed yeah. another trillion which makes our money, you know. It's going to be as chi- We're going to wait till we're equal with the peso. <laughs> Basically, we're going to be a millionaire, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah, I'm a millionaire, nigga. And it's like, <laughs> hey, but how much is a loaf of bread? $897,000. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> American, I hear American money is they're trying to destroy it. Well, the Chinese want it. Uh, they just said that uh, uh, the other day. They, they want a, a world denomination, a uh, world huh. Currency, mm. be, because uh, the dollar is pretty much accepted uh, all over. You know, it's accepted as as world currency. You could spend a dollar pretty much anywhere. Uh, it's, it's slowing down, though. Yeah, and the Chinese want this one denomination that mm. covers everything because they see the dollar being so devalued now, and they're kind of losing out because they own a lot of our money. Uh, so they want this one denomination, but I think that's very dangerous. Uh, I, I don't like On that. On what level? Let the Europeans... Uh, play all nice uh, well, in between uh, times where one wants to, you know, conquer the earth, uh, and and when they don't, I don't, I don't understand let them why play anybody nice would buy Euro. American when we don't do anything anymore. We don't have American anything. Like we don't, we don't. Uh, we're the inventors. We're the inventors of the world. I have a toilet that's being built in China right now that doesn't overflow by the Niagara Company. Uh, you know how the kids throw the toilet paper in the toilet at the. Uh huh. Baseball games and let it overflow. It's fun. I've been. I have a patent on a new toilet, and they're building it right now over there. We have to have the. You world know what? You, we, you have a patent on a toilet. European toilets yeah. are amazing. I've tried to fucking stop them up. I'd, I've tried on purpose to stop up European toilets. They're amazing. Let me just think. Of, well, something the hole random. in the floor right. is yeah. as big as if you oh. make a the, ho- the the toilet hole that they fucking <laughs> cut in the floor. Right is f- and and the way it flushes. You know how flushes go. Doo, 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 doo. Theirs go ah like <laughs> theirs fucking go kablow. They're screaming. They blow your toilet. Paper and shit and anything else you put in there. I gotta go to Europe, and, man. That sounds awesome. Dude, wow, yeah. uh, shit in Europe is shockingly fun. And I'm then gonna, they all have a a, a bidet. I'm bidet. Not shit for three weeks and go to Europe. And then you go to Europe and take a big some fucking toilets. Dump. You ever had a hot water bidet? <laughs> uh, no. As have you fact, ever no, had no. a fucking? That doesn't sound good. Hot water bidet. No. Your asshole. There's nothing better for your really? asshole. Really. Then to have a hot water. How does it bidet? get all dry though? That's what I need to know. Well, it, it feels funny, and it's a little wet, but that. it's just clean. Yeah. Yes, Gallagher. I'm thinking of that hot water bidet. I like how he described it. It sounds good. He did make it sound good, huh, dude? I like that idea, dude. You gotta fucking off. enjoy a hot water bidet once in your life. <laughs> just a little turned, I was a little turned off. A little turned off. <laughs> a little turned off by, <laughs> turned off by the oh, hot water description of his oh, hot water bidet. Just, and you can control. <laughs> You can control how hard it shoots. You yeah. know, it just, your asshole never felt yawning. better. Could, could you put Good it on? Firing, just yawn, we're thanks. We're firing the wrong people. We should be firing the smart ones instead of the dumb ones from companies because smart people will come up with new ideas for companies, the products, and services. And that's what we need. That's what America's um, uh, heritage is, is to lead the world in ideas. Ah, so not anymore. We need to, we're we need idea to fire people. all the really good people. And then we get it built somewhere cheap, and yeah. that's how we do it. But if they were so smart, they wouldn't have everything be in fucking third world countries. But that's where the cheap labor is. We know, but we stop fucking high. If they know that the economy, this is what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Somebody mm-hmm. fucking knows Build about here, economy. Man. Why the fuck, if they know that the country's going to fall, if they keep having a lot of this foreign horse shit, mm-hmm. why do they keep having foreign horse shit? Why don't they just allow us to pay a little more, but our money's worth... A lot 
more. I like because the way they you make think. more money by having people do it cheap overseas. I'm, I'm not, greedy. not no, that's yeah. the that's what yeah. I'm saying. They, yeah. that's the, the greedy. It's greedy. Right. greedy. Yeah. yeah. We greedy. all need to pay a little more and build the stuff here. And the, have uh, phone support be here so we can understand what they're saying. Here's the like problem. Our, our children can fucking work in we're, sweat we're, houses like everybody else's. We're in a world economy now uh, where, where places like China can pump out uh, products with the little kids working in fucking sweatshops. Maybe we need to put our kids back to work. Uh, like in put the it back. I, I want black and white pictures yeah. of kids near like banks of sewing <laughs> and machines. And soot. And soot. Yeah. <laughs> little Losing fucking kids. With <laughs> muscles. Maybe some six-year-old boy with muscles. Because he's toting pallets of paper. Because this son of a bitch and... is doing those little trains, that the, the seesaw trains that go down the fucking... <laughs> <laughs> the casino control. <laughs> Yeah, let's do uh, that again. Wait, wait, man. Gallagher's got uh, some. Yes, Gallagher. Gallagher. I work in these casinos and they're all full, so I don't see where the downturn is. <laughs> yes, yeah. that's what I was Gallagher. talking about. I'm with Gallagher on that one. Yeah, oh, Gallagher, yeah. do you buy your watermelons from China or do you have them here in America? <laughs> ah, <laughs> domestic melons? I want to make sure Mexico. everything's cool. You know, you're Mexican Mexico. melons. Yeah. The cheaper down Mexico. there. All year long, Mexico. Are you sick of squashing the, the uh, watermelon? Uh, well, I smack a lot of other things. It's not just the water. Yeah, Opie. Mm. Jesus, oh, come on, come dude. On. But that's the closer. The that's the not the closer, that's man. That's a stairway to heaven. It, yeah, <laughs> but sometimes, you know, you got to... It's like Prince, man. You change up your asking. shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Insult a guy, man. He I'm smashes, not, like, pies and, uh, and weird Gallagher's things that you than wouldn't think he'd smash. He's, very so, he's a social commentator, Gallagher, man. Yeah, he sure is. Hey, look. That's I've why got, we love him I've on the show. Patent on the software for the next generation of slot machines. I'm going to be rich all over. Jesus. I won't need to smash watermelon. Yeah. Gallagher, <laughs> can I ask you what what happened financially? How do you get a patent? Yeah, anyways? what do you say? I'm going to be <laughs> yeah. rich again. Yeah, you, you, you said that this is the running <laughs> thing. Is that what, I, what happened? You go, well, I'm not as rich as I used to be. Yeah, well, know, what I happened? I lived in America. Well, the I bought thing. stock all the way down, man. Mm -hmm. He he believed in I America. I didn't short the market. I'm not going to bet against America. Did you uh, did you lose some money in the when the tech bubble burst? I was standing right there. It's all over me. <laughs> like that fucking <laughs> he watermelon. He, he hit the tech he, bubble. That's what that's what he smashed with that sledgehammer. <laughs> oh Gallagher, Future. that's a shame. God damn. You got yeah, it, you got know. a lot of patents, and I'm going to revolutionize the world all over again. <laughs> what kind of slot machine? Really, I just got to hear, what's the difference between your program for a slot machine and the slot machines that are out there? The icons that go around on the rollers yeah. are going to move. And that you don't win unless the action matches when it hits the pay line. Okay? Isn't that how it works now? He sounds like Gallagher Hughes. He's he's built his own plane. I gotta. I want to buy TWA. I am. I am, I am Howard I'm Gallagher, Hughes and I'm buying exactly his TWA. Right. Wait, he's saying he is Howard Hughes. I want to hear oh. about what are the other patents. Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. What kind of patents you got? What what else? Uh, well, I've got a patent for a shower that turns off when you step out of the water to save water. I have a patent on a hat for blind people that shocks their forehead when they see the light and they don't need that white stick anymore. I have a patent. Wait, 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 wait. All right. All right. This is what we want to hear. That sounds. All right. Back up to the, ele the electric <laughs> hat. Yeah. All right. Hold on. The, the blind man hat shocker. Judah Freelander, what do you I got? I want to get this? one of those and wear it. <laughs> yeah. So how does this work there, uh, Gallagher? It has the photo, the photo cell on the front of the hat. When right. it sees light, it gives a little shock to their forehead. Right now, they're hard but, wired. But why would a blind guy want to be shocked to his forehead? And, and what, what does the light have to do with it? What is that telling him? Yeah. Where the door is. <laughs> what? <laughs> Where the Where door the is. I see. I, no, no, no. Wait. Wait a second. They have this. Let's be fair. They have this for dogs. It's in, called invisible Invisible barriers. fence. Yeah. So, so it's almost you, cr you created that same thing for blind people. It's like an invisible guide almost like for a force field right what if the sun yeah, right is now, still shining if you look on the internet they're hard wiring these photo cells into people's brains and i said to myself people don't need to have a brain operation they just need a baseball hat what about sunglasses that shock deaf people <laughs> how about a cuckoo clock that comes out and says gallagher <laughs> go on keep 
Keep laughing. I'm going to buy this damn Keep thing. laughing. He's going to be laughing all the way to the bank, Patrice. Yeah, what's wrong with you, Patrice? What? We don't know this Patrice guy. I don't know. He, he, I don't, no, 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 no. He's a comedian that came in to promote some local gigs. What the gigs, fuck so. is wrong? I'm, I'm, what the? So I apologize. Gallagher uh, is a friend of the show. At the shocking hat, I want to hear a couple Wait, what more. What else we got? Yeah, these yeah are what great. else we got? They are good. Wait, let's run them down, though. It's the toilet. Toilet. I like the toilet. It's the shower that turns off when turns you get off. out. Because yep. that twist of the wrist. Oof. Because a lot of people spending a, a lot of money on water. Because wait a minute. The, wait, the, wait, hold on, hold on. Cause, oh, uh, wait, hold on, Gallagher, because I'm, I'm with you on, on inventions. I say all inventions have to do is just think of how to make things lazier, yeah. right? And and all you have to do is say, man, this is this would be great if I didn't have to turn my fucking shower off. I didn't have to. If I had a better right, toilet. Once you get the water temperature combination the way you want it, and you're going to lather up or shave, you don't want to run the water out of your tank while you're farting around. And so you step back, and it goes off. It just has um, the same thing. A yeah, but everyone enjoys the warm water the on their body, Gallagher. But he's saying you set you're the water. You're saving water, though. No, you're saving he's it. saying while you're lathering up, you back up. He sa- it's Fuck it's to save water, right? Right. Right. And so I got it patented in three months. If you have something to do with the environment, they call it fast track, and they give you the patent in three months. Ah, oh, look at that. So you're doing a lot of environmental uh, So what are the inventions? other ones? You started to say another I've one that sounded interesting. I've got a solar-powered Coke machine. Right. Uh, that's so you can have a Coke machine that's not connected to the electric grid. Oh wow! So it sits out there and yeah, uh, the sun hits it, there. and that idea's okay. got to be right. out there already. Yeah, Coca Cola is uh, is looking at it right now, and if they don't buy it, I'm heading to Pepsi. <laughs> All right. Uh, anything I'm else? Good. And you also got RC Cola, uh, just in case, you know. Yeah. Just well, in case you get well, two rejections, I, I, Gallagher. I've always had my patent on the family reunion facility. I'd love to talk to Donald Trump. He needs to build one at his casino. What is this? Well, you know, it's a big area for people to have a family reunion and surrounded you, by... You invented the banquet hall. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can put a patent on uh, a floor plan. Wait, explain the family reunion area. I <laughs> learned so much about what I know what it is. Yeah, this guy's smart, man, because all you have to do is you make up space, and tell me if I'm wrong, Gallagher, where you it's shaped like the grandmother, shaped like the grandfather, shaped like the children, right? And they have their little designated areas that they stand, right? No, it's a <laughs> banquet hall surrounded by bedrooms, so when you get drunk, you don't have to drive drunk. Oh, that little thing, but you just took uh-huh. off the little pesky name uh-huh. hotel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, hotels, hotels aren't safe for kids. What? Why not? Because they, the hallways, anybody can open the door and grab your kid. They go up well, and down that's in the elevator. Exactly. You're that, taking all the fun so out of it. You're going to have a room that's with just bedrooms day. and no hallways. <laughs> yeah, there you go. How about security yeah, cameras? <laughs> and a kitchen in the common. In a common area, so you can smell your food cooking. That's part of appetite. All right, I I I, I hear what you're saying. Tables together in the restaurant isn't homey and fun. Okay. I want uh, families to get together so kids don't join gangs. And yeah, but wh- where where is this family reunion in a casino? Well, it could be any place where there's an activity that the family could engage in. After they, you know, get together and meet each other, like a golf course or an outdoor area or, oh, okay. yeah, casinos. Are casinos good Disneyland? places for kids, though? Yeah, casinos probably not so good for kids. Well, uh, somebody has to watch the kids while the parents go, and then the parents come back and the grandparents go. Everybody's gambling. They just love it. They sit there and they commit themselves to a couple of hundred dollars, and they just push a button all night. I work in this, these casinos. I see him do it. Mm-hmm. Gallagher, okay. <clears throat> 2012. I'm going to be filthy rich. He's not into the 2012 thing. Isn't that the end of the world? I'm just seeing it's no, supposed to be. That's yeah. when all my patents come in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they do? That's when I get my back pension, Spanky. 2012. Right. 
I, wow, I, this Gallagher. is amazing, dude. I, I, there's yeah, a whole new inventor. side to Gallagher. That Gallagher I is I really want to buy those blind man shocker hats. Yeah, yeah you know, oh, Gallagher is a day trader and he's an inventor and he also uh, does a fine job on that comedy stage. Can I can I help patent a T-shirt for Gallagher called "Fuck Watermelons"? <laughs> No more watermelons. Fuck that, right, Gallagher? This is this is this is big, big. You're, you're moving on from that into the world of uh, inventing. This is big. Hey, we got a blind guy on the phone for real, and he wants to ask you a question about the blind hat. I got invention steps that move up and down. Here's Blind wow. Dave from Massachusetts. They almost escalate you. Somewhere. Hey, hey, hey! All right, easy. <laughs> All right, blind Dave. Patent on that yet? I got a question for Gallagher. Uh, yeah. What if the door is closed or there's no light coming through it? What am I going to do then? Hit your face, you know shock boy. That's an excellent question. I'd be willing to uh, work for a small fee and help you work out the bugs there. <laughs> well, even if you have your white stick and the door is closed, you still ain't getting out of that room. You got that straight. So what am I using your hat for? Oh, Jesus. Well, what do you got a dog for if he can't open the door? <laughs> what do I need to hat for if I got a dog? <laughs> this is fucking shocking. Jackass. Oh, this is shocking. <laughs> got a bloody guy. And Patrice's pesky word for hotel is the funniest line of the day. <laughs> this is so, this is so shocking, man. Blind Dave. That's oh, it? I don't understand. Gallagher, comment on what Blind, Blind Dave, Dave. said. Yeah, how do you, what's the deal with the no light and the door closed, uh, sir? Yeah. Well, it's the same for people that can see. If the door is closed and it's dark, they can't find the door either. No, but they, he doesn't want to hit the door is what he's saying. Yeah. Hey, I can't solve everybody's problems, but I can solve the <laughs> So what the fuck life. do they need your, your open door shocker for? Because they can see light. Blind people want to know where the light is coming from. Oh, I see. I see. I see. All right. All right. That makes fun. sense. Sure. I'm with you, man. I'm just saving people from having a brain operation. You can go on the Internet and search, and you can see they're opening people's heads and putting wires into the optical part of their brain from a photo cell. Right. Well, I am. I believe that. Yeah. All right, Gallagher. Anything else going on? Yeah. I want to take the bone out over my heart so that if I have a heart attack, I can reach in there and squeeze my heart. <laughs> I hate the idea that somebody's going to lay me down and beat on me. You know how they... Oh, he wants to you squeeze want to remove, his own heart. <laughs> you want to remove your sternum and, and just no, kind of... just the rib that goes over my heart. Oh, okay. Are you getting a patent for the removal of that bone? Are you going to rename that bone the, the Gallagher bone? The Gallagher bone has got to be removed. Yeah, I want the Gallagher bone out of there. Wait, you, <laughs> you want to reach in... Gallagher's hilarious! He wants to reach in and squeeze his own heart. This is yeah, amazing. Because- yeah, because on the way to the hospital is when your brain gets dead, you know. I but wanna, usually under I those wanna... circumstances, aren't you unconscious? Is that the reason someone else has to punch your chest? <laughs> yeah, they always beat on your chest to get your heart to go again. And I just want to reach in there with a couple of fingers and squeeze. <laughs> but, this, but, this, but, you'd be, uh, but you wouldn't even be able to punch your own chest. That's the whole thing. You, now you say it at first. Yeah, well, you could use your arm for the heart muscle instead of, you know, need the heart muscle. Or else oh, I need so to move my when you heart feel it coming, I, I guess. This pat needs a little you know work. Yeah. I want to remove my whole chest so that I can just squeeze my clogged arteries like toothpaste uh, tube <laughs> and just slide all those fucking... <laughs> those, slide that, that nasty shit yeah, out. Yeah, right. just get it all out. I need uh, I need arteries like that toilet in Europe. I want a big hole. Yeah, a lot <laughs> of room. Hole, right? A lot of room for the cholesterol. I want to cut down around. the holes in my body. I want to shit out of my eyes. Yeah. <laughs> I want to sew, sew my asshole clothes, my mouth. I just sure. want to do everything with my eyeballs. All right. I want less holes in my body. Gallagher, anything else? <laughs> no. No. I've, Any st- got, I, I've got more, but. Any, I could go on all day. Any oh. stock recommendations, uh, Gallagher? Yeah. Man, fuck stock. Uh, I'd buy the financial, and I'd buy the um, and gold. And I think a combination of the two is a good balance. Hmm. Ah, there you go. See? A go- Gallagher Diver- knows the Diversification. Stocks. Last time he came in to see us, he spent six hours day trading after we left the uh, station. I'm laughing wow. with you, Gallagher, because this right is amazing. This is all, that, right. that was an awesome interview, man. Yeah, GallagherSmash.com. Yes. you got a lot of uh, tour dates you're promoting. April 2nd, Infinity Music Hall, Bistro in Norfolk, Connecticut. 
I need a rap group to work with me on my tour in August. Because no, I no you don't. Do... No, yeah, you don't. Do. Why would you want a rap group? They bring their own because hammers. they're going to bring their kids. They're going to shoot your watermelon parts, before you get to smash it. <laughs> they're going to bring their kids. <laughs> and they're going to smash it. much old rock and roll. I want it's going to be a problem. Rap. Mm-hmm. They're going to go, I don't need my motherfucking shower to turn off, nigga. <laughs> and then hit you with the sledge o yeah. yeah. Well, I ain't making products for you. Don't smash any eggplant. No, no, no. Like I'm that. talking about the rappers. Oh, when you try to introduce that sledge o I mean, yeah. when they try to introduce oh, that, oh, yeah, that yeah, water yeah. thing. You got to be careful, yeah, man. Yeah, well, I didn't tell you. Yeah, but they're going to love my big clapping hands. And hell, by August, I'll invent five more things. All right. Wow, Gallagher. Cool, you, you are into Gallagher, it. you're rocking, man. You got too much going on, I'm thinking. No, you can't. I'm an American. This is what we do. We invent. All right. Come That's in right. and see us soon, will you? Okay. Bye-bye. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's the great. That's the, he's the greatest interview in the history of Planet Earth, He's man. amazing. Holy Dude, shit. We, uh, we had him in studio fuck? once. It was amazing. The guy was amazing in studio. What is he? And then we destroyed the uh, the studio. He smashed everything. What is he? He brought in his whole act, and and they were pissed at us for a month. He is out of his fucking mind. Yet he believes we landed on the moon. True. Uh, Yeah, yeah. I I found that more proof that but I don't don't want to say I don't want to say Gallagher's crazy. I refuse. Like it's just too many people. You just you just blow that off. Yeah. As as this guy's crazy, but. I don't know. This guy might be. He's got an interesting mind. The the best eight the, foot hands. The best idea I ever heard for why their space travel was from a guy that was supposed to be tri- crazy, is that they were just the aliens knew how to manipulate uh, the magnetic cores between planets. Yeah. And they knew how to, they it, they just Ooh. used that. Yeah. And I said that is that. the. Gallagher just patented the. Uh, <laughs> he just patented that. Yeah, That's yeah. why he knows there's a. It's amazing. He, he went to he the, has the fast track patent. Oh, no. Yes, it's on the fast track because it's environmental. We Which gotta, sounds believable, though. Yeah, yeah, it does. We got to step aside. So, Judah yeah, Freelander. I got to out, actually. All man. right, TLA. Thanks so much, man. That was fun, man. I hope you yeah. had fun, man. You got yeah. to finally hang and just yeah, kind of go fun, with the man. show. Got to talk to Gallagher for the first time. I know. Man. How, How right? fucking big a treat Pretty is that? Cool is that? 